Okay, this video is going to walk you through the Pointed Square problems that represent non-Mendelian inheritance. So your worksheet looks like this. So our first problem says cross a heterozygous type A blood with a type AB blood. But first you have to know what that means. Heterozygous type A, obviously you need the IA, but your second allele is a little I for heterozygous. Type AB, we're crossing type AB would be IAIB. So let's stick those in our point square here. So in the point square, I'm just going to write the blood types just so you can see a little bit easier instead of me trying to smash in the genotypes. But right here, you have type A, and you have type AB. This is the heterozygous type A. This is a heterozygous type B. So the type of inheritance in this case is called codominance. And the way that you know that with blood types is because you have blood types A, B, and here's your codominant blood type, AB. And then also we have this fourth one, which is O. So the codominant blood type is right here seeing both or having both A and B at the same time. Number two says a brown cow and a white cow are combined. What does a brown and white cow's genotype look like? Well, if brown is CBCB -CB and white is CWCW, -CW, brown and white would be one CB and one CW. So crossing a brown cow with a brown and white cow, oops, it's going to look like this. There's the brown cow. There's the brown and white cow in our bottom square. So here's CB, CB. Here's CB, CW. So here you have CB, CB. Same here, CB, CB. And on the bottom, CB, CW. Or both. Type of inheritance here is also codominant because you have brown, white, and our third genotype is, phenotype I should say, is brown and white represented by this genotype right here, CBCW. Third one, cross a red flower, which is two capital R's, with a pink flower, capital R, and the second R is an R prime. What's the genotype of a white flower? Well, the only other possibility, if we have two R's, one R, R prime, the only other possibility would have two R primes. So, what type of inheritance is this? Again, this is... Oops, Incomplete dominance. So in both cases, for codominance and incomplete dominance, there is no true dominant or recessive genotype phenotype. So to cross these two, two capital R's and an R with an R prime. These top two are just going to be RR. Bottom two are RR prime. Half of them will be red, half of them will be pink. We got on the next problem, number four. It says color blindness is caused by a recessive X chromosome. Show the cross of an affected male and a heterozygous female. An affected male. Since it's a color blind, color blind is a recessive trait, we show a recessive letter superscripted to the X. And since it's a male, the other letter is a Y. And there, since there are no two X's here for the male, since he has one affected X's, he's affected by color blindness. A heterozygous female, just like in Mendelian genetics, would have big B, little b. However, now since this 
It's a sex-linked trait. We have to show the sex chromosomes. Two X's since it's a female. All right. So here's the cross. Then the next one says, show the results of a cross of a normal male and a heterozygous female. Normal male, using the opposite B, since it's a recessive trait, big B means he does not have color blindness. And since it's a male, again, we have to show Y. Same female, heterozygous, type of inherited, sex link. Recession. Or, since it's just on the X chromosome, we can also go at X linked recessive. Either way is fine. This next problem is not on your worksheet if you're a blended student, but it is on your worksheet if you are a regular classroom student. Blended kids had to make their own problems. Number five says the checkered chicken is a result of codominance. Explain what this means. That means we have a third phenotype where we see both the first and second phenotype at the same time. Meaning if black and white are the first two phenotypes, black and white is the third phenotype. So it says what is the genotype of a checkered chicken? Well, just like the letters we've already used for the Example of the cow, here's your black, here's your white. Checkered, meaning black and white, is going to be CBCW. So cross a checkered chicken with a white chicken. Here's our checkered chicken. Here's our white chicken. So here we get CBCW. Here we get two CWs. Here again, CBCW, and again here, CWCW. Ratios in this case would be 1 to 1 for both genotype and phenotype. 1 CBCW to 1 CWCW, 1 checkered to 1 white. Same ratio for genotype and phenotype. The next one says cross a checkered chicken with a black chicken. Checkered up here, black on the side. And basically, you're going to get the same results, only instead of having two CWs, you're going to have two CBs. So you're still going to get a one to one ratio. But you're going to have CBCB over here, CBCW over here. One to one, black to checkered. 